What's up guys, I'm Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another Lead Code, uh, the next day of Lead Code, 30 day Lead Code Challenge. So we're going to do happy numbers. So a number is happy if it's defined by the following process. Start with any positive integer, replace the number by summing up the squares of its digits. Repeat the process until the number equals 1, where it would stay. Or it would loop endlessly in a cycle which does not include 1. The, those numbers in which this process ends in 1 are happy numbers. Okay, well, if you think about this, this problem, you could actually just, um, you could just, well, first of all, we need a function to add a sum up all the digits and square them to each other. So I'm going to create a function for that. So first I'm going to add up all the digits, uh, before for all this stuff. So I'm going to do func. Uh, add digit add digits right <laughs> yeah right there um, I'm gonna pass in an n and what am I gonna do I'm gonna first get every single digit and I'm going to sum it up so I'm gonna need a return sum so this is gonna be the sum of them returning and then what am I gonna do I'm gonna do while n is greater than zero I'm going to divide uh, every single time I'm gonna divide by 10 so n over 10 Okay, so I'm gonna divide by 10, and then I'm going to, uh, I need to get each digit, right? So I'm gonna create this variable called digit, which is gonna to equal to n mod 10, which is gonna get every single digit. And then this this number, n equals n over 10, that's going to divide, get the remaining, every single remaining digit, okay? So what am I gonna do? I have to sum up every single digit. So once I get the digit, I'm gonna do sum plus equal to digit times digit. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Ideally, this should work, um, but you should sum up all the digits. I haven't done this problem yet before, so I'm just going to. Hopefully, this works. Uh, let's 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 just see out digit. Um, let's let's try. Let's let's see what this does for. I don't know. Eight. Uh, for nineteen. Let's see what it should give out. Eighty-two. Okay, we gotta test your code. Remember to always test your code. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Let me run. Fail, you submit too soon. Oh, what? Okay, that's some BS. Um, I think this should... 19 should give out compile error control reset. Uh, error. Oh, whoops. Okay, I'll just return false. Just to make it shut up. Uh, okay. Yeah, 82. Okay, so 19 gives out 82. So that means that this function does add up all the digits. So what does my function do? I'm going to basically add up all the digits for that uh, square every single digit and add up the sum of every single uh, sum of every square of every digit. So that's what this function does. Basically, I have a sum of zero. While n is greater than zero, I'm going to get every single digit. So by modding by 10, when I mod by 10, I get every single uh, one's place of the digit. And I'm going to sum up the digits, the each individual digit, and then n over n uh, over 10. That's going to get the remaining. So if when I have like, in this case, 19, right? I'm going to get the digit nine, right? And then after that, I'm going to sum up the sum of the, the squares of nine. So that's going to be nine square. So sum is going to plus equal to nine square, right? And at the end of this. 19 is going to become 1 because I divide by 10. I got rid of this 9 here, the remaining. The remaining digits is going to be 1. And I'm going to sum up 1, right? Sum up 1 with the my sum of uh, 9 square, which is going to be 82. So I'm going to return 82 here. Okay, so that actually does work. So now let's go back to the problem. So now we're going to keep replacing the number by the sum of its square and repeat the process until the number equals 1 where it will stay or it will loop endlessly in a cycle which does not include 1. Numbers which this process ends in 1 are happy numbers. Um technically you could just you could just loop endlessly until like until you you could just keep iterating just keep calling this function technically. I think you could do that. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can just do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do like a while. Oh, whoops, my bad. I'm gonna do a while infinite while loop. And oh, whoops, sorry. 
Um, what am I going to do is I'm going to repeatedly call this function add digit and pass in n. And then I'm going to call the uh, uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to create a separate uh, separate variable to keep track of my current iteration, right? My current n. So this is going to be like each sum digit. Okay, that, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm basically going to keep calling this each sum digit is going to equal to add digit. And I'm going to pass in uh, actually, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to set each sum digit is going to equal n in the beginning. And I'm going to pass in each sum digit in this function every single time. What's this going to do is it's going to repeatedly call this function over and over again until uh, pretty much I'm going to repeatedly call this function over and over again. And what do I have to do? Well, the process of I'm going to keep replacing the sum of the squares of its digits and repeat the process until the number equals to one where it will stay or it will loop endlessly in a cycle, which does not include one. Those which this process end are happy numbers. OK, so I'm going to keep doing this until uh, if some di each sum digit is equal to one, then I'm going to. Uh, break. I'm gonna break. Okay. I'm gonna break and then return true. Uh, otherwise, I sh I should actually keep track of the ones that are already that I already counted, right? Because if I if I already counted it twice, then that means that like if if it replaces go. So let's say let's say I let's say in this case, right? Uh, 19, right? One square plus nine squares equal to 82, right? So if I let's say I just keep calling this function over and over again, right? Let's say I get back at 82 after a certain num number of iterations, then I know that it's and it's looping endlessly in a cycle. Okay. So what I could do is I could have a set that could keep track of the ones that I already, I already seen before. So, um, let me, I'm trying to think how best to do this because I could, I could use a set or I could use a, I could use a map. I'm going to use a map actually. Maybe I'll use a map. Um, okay. So I'm going to keep a map, uh, scene. I'm going to call map scene. Then I'll do scene at each sum digit plus, plus, plus. Okay. So basically that this means that I already have seen it already. So if it's not equal to one, I'm going to say I already seen it already and then keep doing this over and over again. Then I'm going to do, uh, let's see duh, 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 duh. if, if seen at each sum digit is, uh, not equal to one. Wait. Yeah. If I already seen it twice. So if I already seen this twice, then that means that I'm probably return false. So over here, I'm going to above it. I'm going to do if seen at each sum digit is greater than two, greater than one. Actually, if it's greater than one, I'm going to return false. Okay. I think this will, should work. I'm not sure. Actually, I'm, I don't know. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Hopefully it works. I haven't done this problem before. A compile error. What's wrong? Uh, square one expected expression. What does that mean? I thought you could do this. Well, okay, whatever. Okay. I guess I'll just do, uh, while true. I was taught that you could do that. Okay. Well, I got accepted. So I guess I'll be right. So, okay. So I'll explain the algorithm again. So pretty much um, they pretty much gave you the algorithm to do already so what we did was we pretty much we had to sum up the squares of every single digit and that's what this function did in the beginning all right right add digit so we did that then what we had to do it was basically we had to check if it ends uh loops endlessly in a cycle 
right? And um, that's what we do here. So what we're going to do is we're going to repeatedly call this function over and over again. And we're going to repeatedly call this function over and over again. And if, if the number finally equals to 1, we're going to return true. And that means that I already have, that it is equal to 1, right? Otherwise, I'm going to add the number of occurrences in my map, hash map, or yeah, hash map. I'm going to say that, oh, I've seen this number already, seen, uh, my hash map of seen. I'm going to add the number of occurrences of this number. So each sum digit has like a number. So that means like, it, let's say in the top case, right? I sum up the digits of one, uh, one in, uh, yeah, 19. Let's say I sum up digits of 19, right? And it equals to 82, right? So I'm, uh, 82 doesn't equal to one, right? Like it doesn't equal to one. So what my code does is I'm, I'm going to add the number of occurrences that I've seen of 82 already. So this would be, I've seen 82 plus one. So originally it's zero, then it's plus one. So then my number of occurrences of 82 is now one. And uh, if then I'm going to keep calling this while loop over and over again. And uh, if I already have seen the number 82, like I repeated endlessly in a cycle already, I'm going to return false and say that, okay, I can't do it. Uh, this is not a happy number. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much all you have to do. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> that's pretty much the algorithm. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I actually didn't solve this question before, but yeah, I just I just solved it in this video, but yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah, but uh, rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's pretty nice, but yeah, it wasn't really a tutorial, I guess. I it it was kind of tutorial, but like I didn't really have like a prepared solution beforehand. But yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Keep solving problems, and then I'll check you guys later.